How's it going guys, it's Rich Yankee here, and in today's video we're going to be talking about the Motorola Droid Turbo, this device which is really, really awesome device, I love it actually. But uh, as you may know, this thing recently got root with a root utility called Mofo Root, and so now that we have that, we really need to know how to restore the software, um, firmware, stock firmware actually. So what I'm going to show you today is how to do that how to unbreak your device if that is the state you find yourself in um, or how to just fully reset it. So let's go do this. All right guys, so today's video we're gonna be showing you, like I said, how to unbrick, unroot, restore your Motorola Droid Turbo. So. I just want to point out a couple things in my device. You can see I've got some root applications. Obviously, have root access. You can see Sue Binary is updating. This is root access that I got showing you with uh, Mofo root, like I've showed in a previous video. If you haven't seen that, you got to check that one out. Um, so let's say your device is bricked, but something you're going to need to know before you can fix a brick device or unroot or slash restore your firmware is you're going to have to come in here to settings. This is a good thing to know and go to about phone and then you want to know what your build number is right there is SU2 uh, 12 and then you're going to really want to know your system version right there okay that's going to be important for picking out the correct firmware to restore to your device you can't normally restore older firmware but newer firmware will work so that covering that let's go over to my computer and let me show you some things we're going to have to do on the computer to do this there you go guys this is my computer and I've got most of the files on here so I'm gonna try to go through this this is rootjunkiesdl.com this is my kind of server for all files that I have so first thing you're gonna to want to do is you're gonna to want to download the ADB fastboot files so just download this file right here just click on it and it'll start downloading automatically okay then you're gonna to want to go to drivers and Motorola and I would download the latest which is one of these two and I have 32-bit or the 64-bit depending on your PC or you can download the Motorola device manager this is an older version but it should be able to get you the drivers you're gonna need so those are the options you have okay from there you're gonna wanna download go to turbo go to firmware and you're gonna wanna download this right here this is the SU212 this is the latest firmware for the device at this time and go ahead and download that to your computer Make sure you have all these files on your computer. Once you got that, we can go ahead and move into the firmware restore. I've already got them on my computer. I'm going to show you how to kind of put them together in the right places. So I'm going to go in here and right here is the firmware. And I, it's going to come with looking like this right here. You're going to extract it and do a folder. I named mine SU212 and you're going to be left with basically this information or all these images in here okay this is the firmware now you can't flash it yet you gotta do a couple things one of those things is to take those ADB fastboot files which are gonna be these three files they're gonna be in that folder and copy them and paste them in with these files all the system images and the reason you're doing that is because the script that flashes your device to restore the firmware needs those files in here for it to function correctly. Okay? Alright, so besides that, you want to have your Motorola drivers installed. Um, let's see if I can find my Motorola drivers really quickly. Basically, all you do is you just click on them and install them. It's really simple. Click next, 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 finish. Okay? That's pretty much it. I'm not even going to go through it, it's really easy. But make sure you get those installed as well. Alright, so we're working out of this folder right here, and we gotta do some things to our device. So we gotta turn off our device if it's on, or if you're in a hard brick, obviously you'd be off if you're in some kind of a brick state where you're in a boot loop. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right here. Go ahead and power off the device. And the way to get this device into bootloader mode so that we can flash this firmware is really pretty easy. Basically, when the device is off, you're gonna hold volume down and then you're gonna hold power and just wait a second and you're gonna see this screen this means you are in fast boot mode okay 
or bootloader mode. From here, you're going to go ahead and take your USB cable and plug in the device to your computer. There we go. Very nice. All right. Now, you can see my software version status is modified. That's because I have root access on this device already. But that is, you know, just how that works. Okay, from here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to basically run the script. So let's just set it right here. Make sure you have decent battery life, at least 50% before you start. And basically, this is the script file. And I'm going to go ahead and show it to you. All right, basically what they're doing is they're running these commands. It's pretty simple, pretty easy, and they're flashing all these things. So it's really nice that you can see it here. You can do these manually if you ever want to, or if you just want to flash certain parts, you can look at it this way and actually see what they're doing. And then you can type these commands in yourself in a command window by holding shift, right click, open command window here. You could type each of those individual command lines, and it'll do each step if you want to do it that way. All right, so from here, we're going to run the batch file, and this will go ahead and restore our device. So let's go ahead and do it. Here is the batch file. Now, if you get waiting for a device like this, the best thing to do is come over here to your device, scroll down, and see where it says restart bootloader. Go ahead and hit um, power to do that. And then I think the script's going to automatically start as soon as it sees it. There you go. It is starting the script and you can see things that it's running through as we speak. So it really is going to go pretty quick because this device is really a real fast device. The thing that's going to take the longest is these individual system chunks, which you can see right now we're already on system chunk one. Um, kind of quick warning about this, obviously to do this you're going to wipe data factory reset your device. It's going to put everything back to stock out of the box this firmware version slash build. You have to go through your setup again. Um, you know, make sure you had backed up any of your pictures or anything else like that before you start this, just to make sure you got everything you got can get off the device. Now, obviously, if you're in some kind of a hard brick situation where device won't turn on, well, you're kind of out of luck on that one. Um, you got to get your device working again, and this is the way to do it. So, let's see what we're on. We're on system chunk three. I think there are six, seven system chunks, it looks like, actually. So it's going to be a little bit, let's let this thing run and we'll come back to it once these system chunks finish. Be very patient for this process. Alright, we are on system chunk 7 right now and that just finished and it's erasing user data and that's it. It says press any key to continue. So we'll do that on my space bar. And it is done. Now you can see your device is still in bootloader mode. Um, once you see that, press any key to continue. Just hit the start button or power button to start the device. And that is it. You are done. Um, from here, there's no reason to have the cable plugged in anymore. You can go ahead and unplug your computer or uh, unplug your cable from your computer and we're done on the computer as well so from here it's pretty simple we're just gonna watch this thing boot up um, first initial boot up will take probably about five minutes um, so be patient for that don't worry you know it's not gonna boot in a minute like it normally does so let's let that run through and boot and we'll come back to it as soon as it boots up and I'll show you we are fully restored All right, so we went right into initializing phone. Please wait while we prepare phone. So that is a good sign if you're seeing this. Shabam! There you go. This is the initial setup. So you can see the device is fully restored, ready to rock and roll for you once more. And you've, you know, unbricked it. You have unrooted it and just go ahead and do your initial setup and you'll be rocking it. So, hope you guys like this video. Please stay tuned for more videos on the Droid Turbo as development happens and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Your junkie out.